<laughs> what is going on with sound today, my God? <laughs> so, what did you guys think of Tommy doing Shakespeare? Awesome. It's pretty good, right? I mean, everybody wonders how did that guy get his money, but uh, guy can sell jeans. <laughs> it, it's funny, people always say, like, where did you meet that man, right? Well, in an acting class, of all places. Um, I decided to take an acting class in San Francisco. Everybody was kind of quiet, and it was in a basement. And then he walks on stage. Everyone just got really quiet, and we all thought either this guy is going to kill it, or it's going to be Tommy, basically. <laughs> and so he, he pulls the chair out, and he gets really intense. And he does that face he does when he grabs Danny by the shirt, where we <laughs> don't want to know what he's thinking. <laughs> and he's like, let me nod to the marriage of true mind. <laughs> and I think the teacher was about ready to say cut um, so she stopped him early to get into this big argument no 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 may I correct you <laughs> and they start arguing everyone in the class is just shaking their head they're all shaking thinking man this is weird um, and I thought you know what screw this I gotta beat this guy I just gotta go just find out who he is forget acting forget show business I just got to find out who he is. And so um, I approach him, and I'm like, hey, man, would you uh, direct you to a scene together? And he goes, well, wh why are you asking me, huh? <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, I shouldn't push this. Yeah, let's do a scene together. He's like, okay, fine. We'll we meet tomorrow. And he has me meet him at a bank. <laughs> of all places, I'm sitting out in front of a Bank of America, cars passing, I'm holding my soccer ball thinking, Man, if this dude doesn't show up, I'll just go to the park and play soccer. And I'm like, what's this guy going to be driving? Maybe uh, an ice cream truck or something? Or a hearse? I don't know. So he shows up in a brand new Mercedes with a little crab attached, like a little toy crab attached to the dashboard. And he says, uh, hey, uh, I get in. I'm like, hey, what's up? Well, I need to eat now because I'm cranky and I don't eat, okay? <laughs> so we go to the restaurant. He doesn't say too much, and he throws me a play, and we start, I open and start reading it, and we start rehearsing right there. He's, like, telling me I need to yell, I need to get into it, and everyone's watching. <laughs> then we end up in a park because um, he's like, I see you have your ball. I know you want to play, huh? <laughs> so we go to Golden Gate Park, and um, he starts telling me that maybe the vampire from Alcatraz lives here, and maybe he's a vampire. <laughs> and then I got to see a different side of him. He starts telling me, you know, what do you really want to be? You want to be an actor? You should go for it. Don't believe what people tell you. And I started telling him all my struggles. You know, I don't really have support. I don't have any money. I want to move to LA. And he's like, I have a place in Los Angeles. You can use it if you want. I charge you $200. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I thought, OK, it's probably a cardboard box or something you know, on the side of the road. So I decided we're going to go to LA. We're going to check it out. Uh, my mom approaches the car was not going to go well. She's, she wanted me to be either a lawyer or a doctor, not hanging out with Tommy, trying to go to L.A. <laughs> and so she, she comes up to the window, and she looks at Tommy, and she's like, uh, Tommy, how old are you? And he's like, uh, I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just shake, sitting and shaking my head. And then she goes, well, uh, what do you do for work? Oh, uh, businessman. <laughs> What's your interest in my son? Oh, I think he's a cool guy. <laughs> and he looked like he'd been raging all night. I mean, the guy looked like he hadn't slept two minutes. His eyes were all red. And then she, my mom just looks at him and says, please don't hurt my son. And remember one thing, Tommy, no sex. <laughs> and I just thought, man, this is the worst start to anything ever. So we get to L.A. and we pull into his apartment. It's actually a really nice one bedroom apartment, there's like no furniture in it, just a bed. And uh, he sleeps in the bed, I sleep on the floor, I'm using these magazines as pillows, and uh, the shower starts up, I hear him singing Aladdin. <laughs> a whole new world. And I'm thinking, oh, this isn't that bad. And then the door kind of closes and opens, and I hear the bed springs, and then I hear, Somebody's chicken. 
And I was like, okay, that's just Tommy being Tommy. I didn't hear it. I'll stick it out. Um, so I started living in LA after four auditions. I got a, the lead in this really weird movie called uh, Retro Puppet Master. Don't watch it. I don't know. <laughs> but um, so when I came back from Romania, which is where we shot it, uh, Tommy had moved into the apartment. So I get back to the apartment, and there's a black curtain covering half the place. And I walk in, and he peers behind it, and he says, nobody's allowed in here unless you have special access. <laughs> and I didn't even know where to begin. Like, Tommy should have told me you moved into my place while I was gone. But before I could do that, he was doing voice recordings with somebody on the phone, repeating the same line over and over. You think he's good, do you? <laughs> Rewind. You think he's good, do you? And then I, I don't know if the lady on the other end of the phone hung up or killed herself. I'm no idea, I just thought, man, how, how am I going to last? Um, I'd come home and he'd be hanging upside down um, from the pull-up bar in my door jam like a bat. <laughs> and so I, I decided to take him to see a movie called The Talented Mr. Ripley, which I thought maybe would be a little indication of like space, you know? People need a little bit of space. But he took it as... I need to make my own movie. <laughs> and it's going to be the, the scary, the best movie people will ever see. People will not sleep for two weeks. That's what he said. <laughs> and so he sat me down. He said, listen, okay, the three main character, you will play Mark, like this guy, Mark Damon. <laughs> from the movie we just, I was like, yeah, it's Matt, but anyway, okay, keep going. And he said, you know what, you will shock people. I start writing right now. And so he started writing behind the black curtain while we were roommates, and he'd yell stuff out like, prepare yourself physically and mentally. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I didn't know what to think. I figured, hey, he's busy, it's good, he's writing, cool. Uh, and then he decided he was, he was going to disappear for a while. He's going to go to London, which is what he told me. And so he just peaced out. And so I got a call from him a few months later from a San Francisco area code. So I kind of knew it wasn't London. But I didn't know what he was up to. And then about nine months later, he emerged in L.A., no warning. And he grabs this thing, sits me down at a diner, and just says, um, you need to read this. I'm like, all right. The Room? Um, I was like, yeah, I'll check it out. He goes, no, 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 you need to read right now. <laughs> so we sat in this diner, and I read it um, cover to cover, and I just was trying to kind of hide my shock. <laughs> he says, so what do you think? Maybe I listen to your advice. And I said, you know, if this thing ever gets made, it'll either horrify people or bring them to their knees with laughter. <laughs> so I think I kind of got somewhere in the middle, but it really is, if you thought there was a better version of the room out there, um, you're in luck, because this is even more insane than the actual film. <laughs> so I thought we could read a few scenes from it tonight if you guys are up for it. Yeah. Um, I just need a Johnny and a Lisa to start. <laughs> Any volunteers? I'll do it. Yeah, Johnny? <laughs> what about uh, Lisa? Life, Lisa. <laughs> It'll change your life, I swear. <laughs> Anybody up there? Go on, man. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, page one. Now, one of the things that's amazing about this script is that it's written as a play, but also a screenplay. So there's a little uh, preamble here that he wrote. Uh, the Room by Tommy P. Wiseau. And I'll read it in his voice. <laughs> this play can be played without any age restriction. <laughs> it will work if the chemistry between all the characters makes sense. <laughs> Human behavior and betrayal applies to all of us. It exists within ourselves. You love somebody, do you? <laughs> what is love? 
You think you have everything, but you don't have anything. You have to have hope and spirit. Be an optimist. But can you handle all your human behavior or others' behavior? You don't want to be good, but great. The Room, Act 1. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge, sunrise behind the bay. Then an external shot of an apartment building south of Market Street. There is a shot of a window of the room. It is furnished simply. As we pan across the room, we see a man and a woman asleep and partially naked. <laughs> the alarm clock rings. The man reaches to the clock and turns it off. He sleepily arouses <laughs> and puts on his shorts and walks slowly to the bathroom. He, clo <laughs> he closes the door, hand back to the woman waking up, the man comes out of the bathroom and smiles tenderly at her. <laughs> I'm not a slave here, am I? Did you like last night? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Always pause. Yes, I did. Pause. What time do you have to be there? He pulls a suit from the closet and throws it on the bed and starts dressing. Where is my coffee? <laughs> she gets out of bed and puts on a revealing gown and goes to the kitchen. What time do you have to be there? He is yelling. I told you many times, 9.30, I have my promotion to think about. <laughs> <laughs> promotion, promotion, that's all I hear about. Here is your coffee and your English muffin and burn your mouth. <laughs> He sits down at the table, drinking and eating. <laughs> Old man donkey lets me know today. I have to think about our future. Well, at least I don't have a promotion to think about. Hold on. Focus! Wait, I'm on a totally wrong page. Huh? It's very good. Right. <laughs> You have too much competition in the computer field. <laughs> I can handle it. You worry about yourself. You sound like we have separate lives. We'll be married next month, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. He stands up. Thank you for breakfast. <laughs> he kisses her on the cheek and leaves. Mwah. <laughs> See you later. Scene. <laughs> Lisa, smiling, she very quickly straightens the bed, then washes the coffee cups, puts the candles away and changes to jeans and t-shirt. She puts pasta in the oven. <laughs> Whatever you like, I guess. <laughs> and settles in the chair with a magazine. Shortly, there is the sound of a key in the door. Johnny enters the apartment with one red rose. Hi, how are you? He gives Lisa the rose and takes his blazer off and sits down on the couch. Lisa's smiling and putting the rose to her nose. Thank you. I'm doing great. You're so charming. You always give me flowers. You're so unique. Let me kiss you. <laughs> she gets up and kisses Johnny on the cheek. What's, Mark. <laughs> What's cooking? Pasta, your favorite dish, my sweet pie. You're awfully happy today. What's up? Did you get a client? I call dozens of clients, but no one needs my service. It's very tough. Do you feel like eating now? I'm starving. What else did you do today? You're in a very good mood. Let me fix the pasta. I'll take a shower. Johnny disappears into the bathroom. Lisa waits until the water is running and dials a number on the phone. Hi, Mark. I miss you. I just saw you. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you crazy? Sorry, my darling. I wanted to hear your sexy voice. <laughs> I can tell you something else. 
I like how you put your sexy hands around my body. <laughs> you excite me so, and I love you. Is Johnny there? Yeah, he's in the shower, but I like you better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't understand you. Why do you do that? Because I love you. Sarcastically. <laughs> you don't care, do you? See you later. Yes, I do care, but we agreed it's over between us. I understand. I'm with you. It's our secret. I still have feelings for you, but I guess you don't care. Yes, I do care. Don't drive yourself crazy. The water stops running. I have to go now. See you later, my darling. Don't call me that. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye. Johnny comes out of the bathroom with a towel around his middle <laughs> and goes to the closet. Who are you talking to? My mother. Is she okay? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she tested for breast cancer and now she's talking about dying. <laughs> oh my god. It's no big deal these days, is it? <laughs> no, I'm worried. She is preparing dinner and putting everything on the table. Dinner is ready. They sit down to eat. What happened last night? I don't remember anything. Did we make love? <laughs> you don't remember, you poor little thing. You don't remember when you hit me? Johnny is yelling. Hit you? I would never do that, even if I was drunk. You must be kidding. It's not true, is it? Do you have a bruise? Yes, it's true. They are eating. I will never drink again. I feel sick. I can't eat anymore. He is pushing his plate away. I'm strong. Don't worry about it. I need some money. I have to buy a new dress. <laughs> How much do you want? Around $300. Why so much? He pulls out his wallet and hands her three $100 bills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. She kisses him on the cheek. You're always so generous with me. I have to be. We'll be married soon. You love me, don't you? Of course I do. Lisa gets up, clears the table, and changes her clothes. <laughs> I'm going to the roof to straighten out my head. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Scene. <laughs> Somebody want to try to read the psychologist scene? Right there? Yeah. <laughs> Could you record this for me, please? <laughs> I, I will record and send you. Uh, just do it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> press, press the button. Is one of the film in one HD? Yes, yes. <laughs> I've got to try not to be in his voice now. <laughs> Minus Does somebody want to narrate? You want to narrate? I'll narrate. <laughs> I never want to be away from this. <laughs> out of the door to the roof and finds Mark sitting on the bench looking depressed. Oh hi Mark, what's happening? <laughs> hi Peter. Pause. <laughs> this is a good place to think, huh? Mark pulls out a joint pulls a joint out of his pocket and lights it. Wanna put me on the clock? What's that? He points at the joint. He offers the joint to Peter. You want some? He holds up his hand. No I'm a, no I'm a, <clears throat> No, man, you know I don't smoke that stuff. You know, you look depressed. I got this sick feeling in my stomach. I did something awful and I just, I can't forgive myself. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, I feel like running. 
or killing myself. <laughs> or something crazy like that. <coughs> why, are you, why are you smoking that crap? No wonder you can't think straight. That stuff will mess up your brain. Anyway, it's none of your business. Why are you so nosy? You think you know everything. You don't know shit. Just a minute, who do you think you are? <laughs> it's gone now. So who do you think? Lost it again. What do you think about? Uh, you're, you're, you're acting like a kid. Grow up. He throws the joint to the floor and smashes it out with his shoe. He is yelling. Who are you calling a kid? Fuck you. <laughs> Peter grabs him by the arm. They stand up together. Cool it, Mark. I'm just trying to help you. I know you're having an affair with Lisa. Am I wrong? <laughs> he jerks his arm away from Peter's grip and hits him in the face with his fist and knocks him down. That's all one sentence. <laughs> Peter is unconscious. Mark stares at him. Wake up, man. Wake up. He looks around and sees a bucket of water. He grabs it and pours it on Peter's face. <laughs> Peter shakes his head and slowly wakes up. He then sits up. What are you doing? Are you crazy? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You're my best friend. <laughs> are you okay? Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's talk about your problem. <laughs> Peter takes off his shirt and wipes his face with it. Mark sits next to Peter. Are you sure you're okay? Pause. Why do you want to know my secret? Well, you're right. It's Lisa. I don't know what to do. I'm so depressed. I think I'll kill myself. <laughs> Johnny is my best friend. She is so manipulative. How, how did... How did this happen? If Johnny finds out that it will, sorry, if Johnny finds out that it will, it'll, that it will be the, oh, if Johnny finds out that will be the end of your friendship, what were you thinking? Look, life is very complex, but if you have to, but if, but you have to face it, you have to be responsible. My advice to you is that you should stop thinking about her and never do sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> Find, find another girl. That's my advice. Lisa is a sociopath. She yeah. cares only for herself, and she's in, and she's incapable of loving anyone. Whatever, Peter. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> they go out the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Michelle. Does Michelle want to come up? Yeah. They're not afford the bucket of water that they try and green screen the water in. Who is it? It's me, Michelle. Come on up. Lisa kisses Mark, the doorbell rings, Lisa opens it, and Michelle comes in carrying a grocery sack. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I brought the stuff. I knew I could count on you. Hi, Mark. X, Y, Z. What are you talking about? Examine your zipper. <laughs> Mark hurriedly zips up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too much. Michelle to Lisa. What can I do to help you? I have to go now. Mark goes out the door. What was he doing here? Oh, he bought some takeout. What about his zipper? Michelle and Lisa laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. He's a nice guy. No. I mean, did something happen? He tried to rape me, but I didn't let him. <laughs> did you tell Johnny yet? No, they're good friends. I know. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> You know, I really loved Johnny at first. Really? I thought you loved him now. Until now, I think I still love him. Everything has changed. 
I need more from my life than Johnny can give me. Suddenly my eyes are wide open and I can see the light. I want it all. Do you think you can get it all from Mark? I want to play the field. If he doesn't give me what I want, someone else will. I think I don't know you anymore. Michelle is laughing. <laughs> Pause. You're being manipulative, Lisa. So what? You can learn from me. Lisa is laughing. <laughs> Pause. You have to take as much as you can. You have to live, 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 my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, I have everything covered. Tell me more. Maybe I can understand your point of view. I don't want to talk about it. Let's put this stuff in bowls. <laughs> <laughs> we only have an hour before people will be coming. Lisa and Ms. Michelle start working on party preparation while they are talking. Angrily. I want to know. It's important to me. You're my best friend. This really upsets me. I don't know what the big mystery is. Doesn't everyone look out for number one? Don't I deserve the best? I can't do that. Michelle is laughing. <laughs> You're too much for me, Lisa. You're not such an angel yourself. We're not talking about me. Michelle throws cherry tomato at Lisa. <laughs> Lisa throws a prawn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now. Stop it, they'll be here any minute. Are you trying to ruin my party? I'm with you. Let's talk later. Looks to me like we're ready. Scene. <laughs> Where's our Johnny? Oh, there he is. All right. Uh, hi, Johnny. <laughs> hi, Lisa. You were really sexy. Johnny goes into the closet and throws out everything he sees and finds a wooden box about the size of a shoebox. He tries to pull it open, but he can't. He throws it to the floor, but it doesn't open. He kicks it, but it doesn't open. He pulls a piece of metal from the bottom of the chair and pries open the padlock and succeeds. He opens the box and takes out a gun. He is crying. Why? 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 Why is this happening to me? Why? Why is this happening to me? I can't deal with this anymore. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Suddenly he stares into the closet. He reaches in and pulls out a sexy nightgown. He holds it at arm's length. You tramp. You tramp. <laughs> he throws it down on the floor. He reaches in and pulls out more of Lisa's clothes and throws them on the floor. He lies on the clothes, unzipping his zipper. He's breathing hard and writhing with pelvic thrusts. <laughs> when he finishes, he sits and picks up the gun. His finger is on the trigger. Tears are flowing down his cheeks. He throws the gun away from him. He's crying with his face in his hands. After a while, he crawls to the gun, still <coughs> crying out loud. He reaches for the gun with his hands shaking. He picks it up and points it to the middle of his forehead. God forgive me. Johnny pulls the trigger. He collapses on the floor groaning. He is dead. <laughs> Lisa opens the door to the apartment. Mark rushes in past her and kneels down beside Johnny's body. Also, several neighbors come in. <laughs> Lisa stands by the door with an expression of horror and her arms folded. Somebody call the police. Don't anybody touch anything, call an ambulance. One person leaves the room to call. <laughs> Johnny, open your eyes, wake up. Mark holds Johnny's arm and his head. Is he dead, Mark? Is he dead, Mark? Mark is very emotional. He touches the side of Johnny's neck. Yes, he is dead. Yes, he is dead, three exclamation points. <laughs> Mark kisses Johnny on the forehead. Lisa puts her hands over her eyes and says, Oh, oh my God. Mark stands before Lisa and holds her tightly. 
<laughs> oh well, the insurance is paid up to a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Mark stands back away from Lisa. You were thinking of insurance at the time like this? <laughs> Don't you see? We'll be free together. Mark pushes Lisa against the wall. You tramp, you killed him. You're the cause of all of this. Go to hell, I don't need your dirty money. I don't love you. As far as I'm concerned, you can drop off Earth. Pause. <laughs> Get out of my life. Get out of my life, Lisa. Mark kneels again beside Johnny, crying. Sirens can be heard in the distance. The end. Mm. Woo! Woo! Hey. Now they did better on their first try. <laughs> 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 <laughs>